felt empty. After what happened at the office, I began to wonder if I wasn't going nuts. I'm so totally exhausted that I can't fall asleep. I'm afraid of the dreams I might have. I wander around the room a little. I guess I'll go to sleep when I can't keep my eyes open any longer. A man dove directly into the frozen water at Central Park today to save a child who had tumbled in by accident. The young boy was successfully resuscitated and will completely recover. His courageous rescuer disappeared before the ambulance had even arrived, apparently a case of a reluctant hero. The investigation continues into the recent murder which took place at Doc's Diner. Police have today provided a composite photo of the suspect based on information given by a witness to the crime. If you see this man, please call the special number which appears on your screen now. And finally, a report on the weather with a new snow front moving down from Canada. They know what I look like. Well, that's it then. Now the manhunt really begins. Marcus and me, before the accident.
I came to pick up my stuff. I hope I'm not disturbing you. No, I'm just a little bit sleepy. Come in. Have a seat. I'll go and get your stuff. It's just two boxes. I'm not sure exactly where they'd be now, but they shouldn't be too hard to find. Uh, they've got my initials on them. Here they are. I think that's everything. Is everything okay, Lucas? You look stressed. I... I've got some big problems right now. I can't really talk about it, but it's fairly serious stuff. If there's anything that I can do for you, Lucas... Man, I wish there was, but no. Thanks for offering, though. I think it would probably be best if you left now. You're right. Thanks for everything. I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to. Maybe it was better this way. After all, I had no idea what was going to happen to me in the next 24 hours. What could I offer at this point to a girl like Tiffany? By letting her go, I was protecting her. I went to bed. There was nothing else for me to do but try to sleep and find out what tomorrow was going to bring. girl again. She seems so real. I must be losing my mind. The report from the morgue kept me up all night. Rather than answering any questions, it just added new ones. Did the murderer intentionally give the victim a slow, painful death? 
Is there any link to the mysterious Kirsten case? Who sent me that email about Kirsten and why? This training session with Tyler is just what I need. I need to cleanse my spirit and just breathe a little. Damn, you look a little out of it, Carla. You sure you're cool? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Okay. Let's warm up a little then go for it. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Sounds good. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. One last set and I'll be ready to fight. I'm warmed up. I'm ready to get in the ring. One. Two. Three. Four. Pretty good shape this morning. One more set and I'll be ready to get in the ring. Tonight's match between Terrible Tyler Miles and Killer Carla Valenti. 
Oh yeah, and who's always kicking out the crap about me acting like a kid all the time? So you, you want to go again? <sighs> no, I'm done. I'm going to grab a shower and get back to work. Can't get that restaurant murder out of your head, huh? I just feel like there's a piece of the puzzle missing. You're busting your head for nothing. The guy's a psycho. End of story. Yeah, well, maybe. I just want to find him and make sure he never does it again. We'll get him. The guy who leaves that much evidence behind on a murder one, he's gonna slip up somewhere. I hope it's that simple, Tyler. I really do. Ten years. Ten years since my parents were killed in a car accident. I've never completely recovered from losing them. You never really get over something like that. Considering all that's been happening to me lately, I thought maybe I should go and meditate at their grave a little this morning. I'm happy that you could come. Lucas, come on, Lucas, come and play. You can't spend your whole life just sitting in the corner. Lucas. Lucas, you coming? I don't want to, Marcus. Leave me alone. I've about had it with you, Lucas. You're always off by yourself. You never talk to anyone. You never play with anyone. I'm starting to think maybe you're crazy. You're weird, that's for sure. Is that bad? Come on, do me a favor. Just play with everybody this one time. How about hide and seek? We could go play in Hangar 4. No way! You know we're not allowed to play in there. Who cares? We can get in through that hole in the fence, like last time. Nobody will see us. We can get inside the hangar from the back door. Good idea. Let's do it. Are you coming with us, Lucas?
Hangar 4. It's gonna burn. Marcus and the others will get caught in the fire. Quick, I've gotta warn someone. We've gotta save them before it's too late. Sir, my brother and some other kids are in Hangar 4, and it's gonna burn. You've got to go help them, please. Go on. Get out of here, kid. I don't have time for games. It's the truth, I swear it! Help me, please, you gotta help me! No point wasting any more time, no one's going to believe me. I have to warn Marcus and the others myself. Kurt said something about a hole in the fence. Lucas, what are you doing here? I thought you didn't want to play. Get out of here now, Marcus. The hangar's going to explode. Huh? How can that... Don't ask any questions, Marcus. Get out now. It's about to explode. I'll keep looking for the others. Nobody wants to play with you. You need to get out of here, Kurt. The hangar's gonna blow. You don't know what you're talking about. You're just a retard, Lucas. Your mother sent me to find you. I'm gonna go and tell her that you're messing around in here. What? My mom? You say one word to her and you're dead meat. I'll deal with you later, freak. What are you doing here, Lucas? The game's over. Everybody's gone. You can come out now. Oh, that's just great. Why didn't anybody tell me? going to explode. You gotta get out of here right now. What kind of crap is this? You get out of here and stop trying to ruin the game. You are going to get out of the hangar right now. I'm not kidding. Shit, Lucas, you're a total nutcase.
Lucas! Are you hurt? No, just a few scratches. And the others? I managed to warn them in time. They, they all got out. How did you know it was going to happen, Lucas? I saw it. I saw it before it happened. Don't ask me how. You know they'll never believe that. I know. Lucas? Are you alright, Lucas? Lucas, can you hear me? I did a little checking around. Without giving your name, obviously. I was told about a person who was familiar with, let's say, unusual phenomena. I think that maybe she could help you. Here, this is her address. You know that I don't believe in any of this, Lucas, but I sincerely hope that she can give you some kind of answer. I hope so, too. So, how's that restaurant murder case coming along? We've got a few leads, but no suspects for the moment. There's some troubling elements about this case. We know it probably wasn't premeditated, and it wasn't done for money. What's your theory? Several elements match the ammo of a ritual killing or a mystical trance. The choice of weapon, the killer's cutting himself, the manner in which the victim was stabbed with precise cuts to the heart. All this points to a religious sacrifice. He might be a Satanist or something like that. Do you think there's much chance he'll kill again? We don't have enough information to determine that right now. He might do it again tomorrow, or we might never hear from him again. I want this nut job behind bars ASAP. Do whatever you have to do. So, what's the plan now? Check the local hospitals to see if they've had any men with knife wounds in. Check with all the psycho wards to see if they've got any ex-patients out on the streets who might have been capable of something like this. Okay, anything else? Yeah, book we found under the table. Garrett left it on your desk. See if you can make anything of it. Okay, I'll get on all that stuff right away. What are you going to work on? There's something that I need to verify. Carla asked me to see what I could find out about the book we found in the diner. It might be able to tell us something about the killer. I inquired in the office and I ended up in a bookshop specializing in old books run by a guy named Takeo. Something handwritten in pencil here. To my brother for his 18th birthday, M.K. Hmm, interesting. A torn piece of paper. Looks like a computer printout of a bunch of numbers. Fell out of the book. Must have been a bookmark. I'll check it out at the office. Yo! Excuse me? <clears throat> oh, oh, I am sorry to cause a wedding on you. Your presence here bring honor to my miserable shop. Uh, my name is Takyo. Uh, tell me what I can do to make you happy. Damn. This guy looks just like that old Chinese dude in Gremlins. If he offers me a little box with a monster in it, I am gone. 
I was digging around in my closet and I found this old book. Thought it might be worth something. Ah, I am happy. I am but the washer's well of ignorance. My tiny expertise extend wholly to books I serve here. Thanks anyway. At least I tried. Ah, uh, maybe there is something I can do for you. One client order very rare book. Since this morning I look for it, but impossible to find. You find this book, and I tell you all you want to know. So what does it look like, this book you want? Ah, easy. It from same collection as this one. Okay, I ought to be able to handle that. Bring back the sacred diamond of the old sage of the mountain, and he will give you the magic talisman. Oh, man. What am I, in a video game? Okay, here's your book. Oh, great. You found it. Thanks, dude. What do you want to know about that book? Well, do you have clients who buy these kind of books? Hey, the book didn't come from here, if that's what you're thinking. Is it just me, or did you lose your accent? Oh, yeah. That's for the customers. Ah, they love that wise old Japanese master stuff. <laughs> I was born in Brooklyn, man. <laughs> I never been no further than Long Island. <laughs> I'm more American than you are, man. Yo, thanks for your help. No problem. Come by again, okay? <laughs> As far back as I can remember, I've been frightened by small spaces. Whenever I'm in a small, confined place, I start to panic. I have trouble breathing, and I need to get out right away. Yeah, you've heard the name. Claustrophobia. Well, I had decided not to let my fear control me. I decided to try and fight it every chance I got. I'm going to stay calm. 
everything is going to be fine. I'm going to breathe deeply and walk without stopping until I find... There should be a switch box around here. Here's the archive terminal. I can consult the file here. The save files are classified by year. The Kirsten files should be in the 1990s. It shouldn't be too hard to find. The electricity's cut. I just need to stay calm. I will control my fear. the file starting with K. Just need to check to make sure I've got the right year on the terminal. There's no power to the terminal. I guess there must be a switch box somewhere. I think I found it. The file is empty. No report, no evidence, nothing. Wait. There's the name of the detective in charge of the investigation. Robert Mitchell. <laughs> 